In this video, we'll look at everything you need to know to run Reveal for Aflatoxin Ethanol Extraction. This kit allows users to quickly screen corn for the presence of aflatoxin. This presentation serves only as a visual guide to the written materials supplied with the test kit. To ensure accuracy in the performance of this test, please read and follow the test's written instructions in their entirety. Remember, it is important to use good microbiological laboratory practices. This includes wearing proper PPE and ensuring that all equipment is working properly and is calibrated in accordance with your laboratory's policies. Each kit contains supplies to test 25 samples. The kit includes test strips, reveal sample cups, and a bottle of sample diluent. To conduct the test, you will also need an agrigrind or bun grinder, a scale capable of weighing 10 grams, accurate plus or minus 0.1 gram, a timer, a reveal sample cup rack, 50 milliliter graduated cylinder, 65% ethanol solution, a 100 microliter and a 500 microliter pipetter and tips, sample collection cups and lids, sample collection tubes and caps. Remember to always store the test strips in the stay dry tube at room temperature. The kit should be stored at room temperature when not in use. Do not use kit components beyond the expiry date. Treat all used liquids and labware as if contaminated with aflatoxin. Neogen recommends gloves and other protective apparel, although they're not required during testing. Be sure to follow your company's policies. Avoid cross-contamination by using clean extraction supplies for each sample. To prepare the sample, begin by gathering all of the materials required for the test. If not using Neogen's prepared solution, make a 65% ethanol solution by mixing 6.5 parts ACS grade ethanol with 3.5 parts distilled or deionized water for each sample. The sample to be tested should be collected according to accepted sampling techniques. See the GYPSA sampling protocol or contact your Neogen representative. Obtain a representative sample by grinding a minimum of 100 grams of sample so that at least 95% of the ground material passes through a 20 mesh sieve. The particle size should be about the same as espresso. Combine 10 grams of ground sample with 20 milliliters of 65% ethanol. Vigorously shake using hand or mechanical means for one minute. Allow sample to settle and filter with a filter syringe or Wattman No. 4 filter paper. You can also pipette 1 milliliter of sample into a 1.5 milliliter micro centrifuge tube and centrifuge for one minute. For each sample you are testing, place a sample cup in a Reveal sample cup rack. Add 100 microliters sample extract to the sample cup. It is important to make sure the pipette tip is fully charged with liquid and doesn't have any air bubbles prior to dispensing the liquid into the cup. Using a new pipette tip, add 500 microliters sample diluent to the sample cup. Mix by pipetting up and down five times. It is important to mix thoroughly. Place a Reveal for Aflatoxin test strip into each sample cup with the sample end down. Allow the strip to develop in the sample cup for 3 minutes. 
Remove the strip from the cup immediately after completion of the three minute incubation. If a line forms in the test zone and another line forms in the control zone within three minutes, the sample contains less than 20 parts per billion of aflatoxin and is a negative sample. A negative sample may be determined as soon as two lines are visible on the strip. If after the full three minutes, there is no visible line in the test zone, but a visible line in the control zone, the sample contains at least 20 ppb aflatoxin and is a positive sample. If there is no line in the control zone, the test is invalid and the sample should be retested with another strip. Results should be read within 30 seconds of the three minute incubation. Results observed after three and a half minutes may be inaccurate due to overdevelopment of the device. Contact your Neogen representative for questions or for more information on this or any of our products. Test with confidence. Test with Neogen.